here you can see it and if you installed it on your computer or on your uh, Fuel Sonic 10 Windows 8 then these apps won't work eh? but now they they just work you see they just work I, I'm not gonna start it up I'm gonna show you the desktop real fast here's the desktop um, the start menu is nice on top again there you go you see that to get into the metro screen we just go there and all the apps work so um, if you have a tablet or maybe some device that you installed Windows 8 on and it doesn't work then the, then you must do a hack okay so I just demonstrated you on this tablet that um, the apps are like working and here I have an old netbook it's an Asus here you can see it it's an Asus netbook and um, you must look at the resolution what is written here you see that 1024 by 600 the apps the Windows apps will never work with the resolution like that you must upgrade the resolution but how to do that I mean like even if you install the original driver it will still give you 1024 by 600 okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the registry and we go to a special place in the registry and we're gonna change one little thing from zero to one and how to do that I'm gonna show it to you for my Dutch people als je een tablet hebt, een Windows tablet, waar misschien Windows XP op liep, de Argos 9 of zo, en je wil Windows 8 installeren, dan zul je erachter komen dat de apps niet werken. En om de apps te laten werken, ja, moet je een registry trucje uitvoeren. En we gaan deze truc gaan we samen doen in Engels en in Nederlands. En door middel van de uh, uitleg zul jij begrijpen en zul je weten wat je moet doen. We gaan nou zorgen. We have this tablet here. We're gonna make sure. I was just telling my Dutch people. We're gonna make sure that we're gonna let these apps work. We go to here. And as you can see, if we hit one of them, it will say this app cannot open. So we're gonna make sure that this Asus, yeah, when we're done doing that hack it will be able to open any app and also the apps that I will create from now on because I'm also a Windows app creator yep yep and my Windows apps will always be available on my YouTube so what you should do is really subscribe to my channel and also here at the bottom no not this one the other one yeah hit it a little thumbs up you know and let's go do the job. Let's jump into the computer. It won't be too hard, I promise. Okay, step one. You will go to, um, to your desktop. You can close this now. And you hover. You open. And go to search. Up here you look for reg edit reg edit you see it it's there and now you must open that yes up here you see all the things at the side and where you should go and this is really important because if you don't do it good it won't work Okay, you must go to local machine. There you go, local machine. And then you must look uh, for system. And after system, you must go to control set zero zero. This one, the first one, you see that? You go there and in there, you go to uh, control 
and then you look for uh, for video because we're gonna hack the video registry up here you must look for video there you go you see that video and now when we are in video yeah we must work on a string and what we're gonna do here we're gonna go to edit and then we say find yeah and in find we're gonna type display one underscore downscaling supported and then we say find and up here you will see that something is highlighted up there you see that and you open that you double click it and here you will see oops sorry for that here you will see that it's zero you make a one from that you see that and then you say okie dokie yeah okie dokie and now uh, we will go ahead and restart the computer if we can get into yeah we can go to there so oops sorry for that assumed in too much okay and now we're gonna um what did i say restart the computer wait where do we do that oh there turn off restart the baby so she's gonna restart now and let me see if i have some power for the baby yes connected and we're doing this on the uh, asus 10 inch tablet or uh, netbook but you can also do this on any other device that you know doesn't support the right uh, resolution because what we did now we told windows that you know you shouldn't worry about you know about the rules they set at microsoft just for certain you know resolutions to run we first will go to the desktop yep and then we will go to resolution screen resolution right mouse click screen resolution and up here you will see that you can do many things with the screen resolution now we first gonna put it on 11 on uh, we're just gonna slide it up just a little to 1024 by 768 you see that and then we say okie dokie we say apply so yes we like to keep and of course it will be a little bit um, square in some way but not that that is a problem because now we can open the apps and all the apps work you see that All the apps work now. Oops. Don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. You see, but certain apps I'm just gonna uninstall because they are taking bandwidth. I don't need all apps. Like this Bing thing, I'm gonna remove it. This Cape, Cape South, I don't know what it is. It's showing me banners and, 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 and rubbish. I don't do stocks. So we can delete that. But if you do stocks, you should not delete that. Okay, uninstall. I don't like this crap, you know. It's connected to some server and then it keeps sending information. If you're on a mobile device and you have to pay for your 3G connection, you know, you're going to be screwed, man. Like this weather thing is really nice, but I don't I don't need it. So I'm gonna uninstall it, you know? If you want it, you can keep it. Skydive, I don't use Skydive. So I'm gonna uninstall Skydive, I don't need it. Calendar, I do that on my iPhone. I don't need that, man. Um, you see now the system is more quiet, eh? No stupid banners uh, flashing up and trying to sell the self here. Maps, we don't use maps. We have Google Maps, you know? So, games, I don't play games. Yeah, flight simulator, but not this kinds of games. The store, we will keep the store because in the store we can log in with our account. And then, you know, we can browse, not search, but browse to the 
um, apps that are in and why am I installing this and why am I doing this and why am I happy that um, that uh, the screen and the apps work because uh, my friends I'm gonna just uh, install my own apps because eh? I also create apps now and I'm gonna make beautiful apps first of all I'm gonna make some apps for my radio stations in Suriname there are already some but there was some guy he's selling that app you know that while the information should be free although my friend uh, George Bombelman from uh, Radio Apinti he also uh, created the app for Radio Apinti and uh, that app is uh, running just fine as you can see not so much apps eh? at least these are the top 100 oh the top 100 top 300 apps oh top 300 apps but I think you can also buy apps eh? top paid and then we get the top 100 or what top 100 apps but how about the other after the 100 apps where do we find those where are the other apps power DVD blah 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 okay but this is really nice but I'm gonna show you guys that um, hey you see that now we also have the start menu here the little uh, screen that pops up so oh, and this goes there oh we cannot put this there oh that's a pity now we put it there and this there and this there do, 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 do. You see it, it uh, wants to do it its own way, yeah? But we don't care about that too much. We really like it. What is this? Oh, this is the... Okay, and how do we get out of that again? Like this. Yay! And now we are in the store. And now we are there. And how do we get in desktop? Okay, this is desktop. Okie dokie. So, I'm gonna fix this a little bit and put my test bar upstairs bloody doom so that is how to make it uh, work people I hope you uh, like this video I'm gonna fix this a little bit here personalize these are always the things I do eh, when I install Windows 8 you can take a look if you want I like my um, my icons on the desktop I don't need network I know where to find that so opa and I love my icons just here you know Microsoft puts them really nice uh, in line so put them and from here we can create uh, oops okay and then I will install a small little program that will give me uh, the test bar back you know and then it will be all good but the most important thing that you must do is uh, type display display one and then underscore downscaling supported that's all and then change the value from zero to one that's the only thing you have to do. You see, I also don't know why Microsoft is using this start page. I would advise Microsoft to use the Bing start page. Eh? The Bing start page looks much better, but I think they did that because yeah, they also want to sell news and other things. But then again, for somebody that is really at work we don't want to see all these banners and loading crap I don't at least I don't like it you know if you guys like it man we love you too but I don't like it these are the things I do I made 8 megabyte from that you see that I changed the the home screen the start start page to Google why not because I don't like Microsoft but because when I open my start page I don't want to get confused with a lot of a lot of uh, information that is not relevant it's not relevant information I wasn't looking for that information it's it's um, information that has been yeah that is just 
given to you and you see Google is not so smart here because the start page is already set to Google but it's asking me again if I want to set it to Google and then I say no thank you I don't need that <laughs> is it so you see but still it keeps asking me I say no thank you so let's see if it will ask me again ask me again no because it's already set to Google you see some browsers are so smart but then again they are not you know I think everything just plays fine YouTube videos play out of the box I got no browser choice by the way <laughs> I installed it I got no browser choice asking me if I wanted to install other browser so Microsoft is not even caring about offering browser choice to the people okay let's change the background a little bit personalize and here you can see Asus that's really nice of uh, of Windows 8 it will get uh, it will get the background of the device that you use and then you will get the background but then again I don't really like this background so let's change that a bit let's change it into this one I love the nature eh? and then not fill but fit there you go and now although this one is nicer I have a nicer one here where is it there it is yay yeah save changes you see that and now you have a nice little thingy here you see you can also make the icons bigger but I would not do that why should you but you could you see then it all looks a little bit um, different and you cannot say it looks like Mac because we we have the same icons as Windows so no Mac icons just the idea just the setup the look of feel you must see your desktop as your living room you know and um, yeah there are many ways how to uh, to fit your living room the way you want it and that's you know that's the way people do it if you want this a little bit green go to personalize and then we say the color and then make it green there you go we don't forget to hit save changes and then we have this beautiful green that we also have in our background you see that this is green this is energy green eh? this green gives you energy it yeah loads your cells with energy green is a very important anyway, color peeps, enough spoken uh, this thing is just fine it's now uh, yeah uh, Microsoft uh, Windows 8 no surface because we cannot take this off so it's not a tablet but it's a wonderful netbook and uh, we will test uh, some programs on here we're gonna uh, yeah do some video editing and we're gonna do some other little things just to see you know if uh, yeah if Windows 8 is really that good and I have some information from uh, one of my musicians working with Reason and with Cubase and you know producing music and I have good news Windows 8 the programs they run very very good on Windows 8 no errors it's just the same as Windows 7 but you know with these extra things and even even maybe a little bit updated and maybe even a little bit better you know so uh, all you mu uh, musicians out there you can give it a try uh, see if it works for you and if you need some add-ons or some information don't hesitate to you know to ask and one of these days I will also go to the studio and then I'm gonna show you um, how we do that in uh, Windows 8 with Cubase and with programs as Reason and you know video editing programs as Magix Movie Edit Pro and things like that you know so I'll, I'm gonna let you know and for now I'm really happy with the system really happy that I got the screens working because yeah now we can really 
take advantage of the system. Thank you for watching until my next video and this was Pop from Holland and you know how it goes.